night away I let my head down if I won Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Look where we are Currently 1,678 miles away from I was gonna say our destination but that is untrue we are currently traveling into Chicago and then we're changing and then we will be flying to our first destination of our American tour <laughs> we're going to Nashville and by tour I mean if you've been watching my videos for a while follow me on Instagram follow Molly you'll know that we've had this goddamn American trip planned for it, it feels like oh, years. Actually, oh, Justin Bieber's been Oh my years. goodness. We booked, yeah, Justin Bieber's Justice Tour. It weren't even Justice, it was changing. That's what I was going to say. How is it? Yeah, oh, it changes. My God. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> yes, we booked Justin Bieber probably two years ago, two and a half. COVID. Duh. Just before COVID hit, it got pushed back, it got pushed back, and then in the end, yeah, it got cancelled. And then he basically renamed the tour, he bought out a new album, and I can't remember why. But we always had tickets to see him in Miami. We I could probably it. tell this story further down the video when we're in Miami. Well, I actually think this is just going to be a Nashville vlog, so it makes sense to give a little bit of context. But yeah, we're starting off in Nashville. We're going to Miami next, so that'll be the next vlog. And then from, don't tell me, from Miami, we're going to Palm Springs for Coachella, and then LA, and then Vegas to finish up. So it's gonna be crazy. I'm thinking there's gonna be a vlog per state, other than California, there'll be, Palm I've, listen, I don't know. There might be loads of vlogs, there might just be one per state, but I'm so excited. I'm gonna take you guys along. We've got a lot planned and yeah, the initial idea of this trip was literally just behind seeing Justin Bieber and because it's been so long in the making we thought, you know what, we're coming this far over the world, we might as well add a few destinations. Also, I look a little bit crazy, we've just put face masks on, it sounds bougie but I went for a facial the other day and we agreed that you just have to keep your skin hydrated in the sky and um, yeah, you get a funny, a few funny looks, but I've seen quite a few people who do face masks now. I feel like it's a little bit more socially acceptable. But yeah, we've had some food, we've both had a little sleep, um, and we are actually three hours and 27 minutes away from being in Chicago, and then I think we have a couple hours to- Take any more. Oh, one hour. And then we'll be in Nashville, which we're so excited for. Molly has been, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Molly has what? B. To Nashville. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't count though. Give it like you've still been, you've seen it, you've touched it. I've touched it. But we'll discuss that in a little while. But yeah, I just wanted to check in. We're having a lot of fun. We're um cheers and a lot in the sky because life's too short, you know? And yeah, this is just gonna be a trip of a lifetime. I'm so excited and yeah, I feel like these I just feel it in my bones. These are gonna be the best vlogs ever. Ever. And this is when you love that I vlog, don't you? Yeah because we get to look back at these when we're old and grey yeah. and we show the kids and be like we were fun once we did that. but anyway just wanted to say hi welcome back to my channel if you haven't subscribed please subscribe because it's about to get crazy I mean as crazy as I get I'm quite chill well chill when it comes to going out and stuff but you never know you might see a different side to me on this trip and um yeah see you in Nashville Door to door, how long did that take us? I don't know what the time is at home. Okay. Like what? I think when I worked out earlier. Oh wait, okay, so it's what they six hours ahead. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I personally left my front door at quarter past five. I'd left at half five. So let's go half five, half six, half seven, half eight. Seventeen hours. Oh my word. Seventeen hours door to door. Fucking it's been a long slog. We're not gonna complain though because we're just so it actually went so quick here. as well. Yeah, but I won't like one. Horrific. I thought it was going to be worse. We had a nice little cat nap. 
on the plane. Yeah. We were very lucky with the oh, beds yeah. and everything. It was amazing. Can't complain. Anyway, you don't want to hear about that. You want to hear about where we are. We've just touched down in Nashville. <laughs> anyway, so to give you a room tour, we can kind of do everything in the moment because we're not in a place long enough to keep everything secret. So <laughs> this is called The Dream. Dream. Who's and that? it looks a dream. So here is our room. Stunning, really ceilings is. Are so high. Ceilings are so high. I hope you can take that in. Lovely draped curtains. We've got a lovely pop of colour. I'm really into Shea, this. What's that called? A chaise lounge. Chaise, chaise, chaise lounge. So that's where Molly's going to be sleeping. I'm in the double bed with the Egyptian cotton. <laughs> Whatever. How do we feel? I honestly cannot wait to get in that bed. I can't tell you. But here is the room. And then we have our gorgeous bathroom. So we've got the wardrobe here actually where I just put two of my bags. And then here is the bathroom. It's really beautiful. The interior designer done a really nice job actually. Love it. Not that I doubted you, Mole, but you've done good with this book. Book? With this booking. Yeah, this is insane. I love it. It's given me, um, not to already be that person because I feel like I did several ago compare, but it's given me New York vibes a bit. This like room, yeah. this vibe. Anyway, we need to get settled a little bit. We need to kind of regroup, shower, shower, brush the teeth. Oh yeah. Eat real food. Eat, eat a, meal. a meal. A meal. Because you know when you're just traveling and you're eating, you're grazing. I'd say we've grazed all day. Mm. We've just been picking, 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 but gonna get sorted a little bit. And then I guess we'll go out and explore. See what Nashu has to offer. And we have no excuses to just like even be just laying around and catching up with people because everyone's asleep yeah. <laughs> at home, literally. Yeah. We landed in, Cass was like, night. I was like, okay. Okay, I'll tell you about it in the morning then. Anyway, talk to you in a bit. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday the 8th. It's currently 10 a.m. in Nashville. Molly's just in the shower sorting herself out. And I'm unpacking a little bit. We went out last night, I did vlog, and I'm gonna insert that in a second because I'm just trying to go through my taste. We're trying to be a little bit strategic because we're in each place for like three, four, slash five days. I think five might be the longest. So it makes no sense to unpack, but I just cannot remember what I've put in my case and it's stressing me the hell out. I actually have one of the cases that goes like that so I can see either side. Molly's got a case that's just like that, so she needs to do the same thing literally after I've done this. I'm going through, just trying to remind myself what I've got. And honestly, first of all problems, but I'm just trying to be clear. I thought while I'm going through, I'll show you some of my outfits that I've got. I just want to show you a handful to um, just share the excitement because some of them are potential Coachella outfits. Coachella is literally a week today. I can't believe it and I'm so excited because Pretty Little Thing have actually sponsored this part of the video so thank you so much to Pretty Little Thing. Half of my case, well I'd say probably 70% of my outfits in my case are from Pretty Little Thing but I just wanted to show you a quick handful for the start of this video in case you guys want to do a little bit of spring summer shopping I can give you guys some ideas because things sell out super quick on Pretty Little Thing so be quick I will link them in the description box and you guys can check them out and get prepared for any trip or just warmer weather you know we're getting into the months where hopefully it's going to be a little bit warmer so i've just had a shower i've got on the hotel robe at the moment because i knew i was going to chuck on some outfits and show you thank god i bought this little light with me because the lighting in this room is awful it's very like moody kind of sexy hotel room vibes which is beautiful but not ideal for when i want to show you guys some outfits so i've got a mix some of them are a little bit more appropriate for when we're in miami as well like summer boho kind of vibes but instead of talking i'm just going to put one on i'm going to show you i've got some really cool accessories as well and then we'll carry on so here's the first outfit that i wanted to show you i decided to put this with jeans right now because nashville weather actually isn't really playing ball i originally was going to put this with some denim shorts which i do have that as an option but these are my ride or die pretty loving jeans these are my most worn jeans in my whole wardrobe they are the best and then i put it with this little cord set from Molly May's edit and we have this little bra which is so cute and it matches the pinstripe of this shirt. Pretty sure this comes with shorts as well but this is the kind of 
denim vibe that I wanted. And then I have two different bag options. So this is the bag that I traveled with. I'm literally obsessed with this color green and it's such a good size. I've still got some bits in here from last night because literally traveled with this and then took it out last night. As you'll probably see from the vlog clips in a sec, or maybe this little black purse kind of vibe. I don't know which one I prefer. I actually think I quite like the black because it looks quite sleek with these sunglasses as well. I have so many different shade options as well. All of my sunglasses for this trip are from Pretty Little Thing. I really like these actually. So here is one look. I'm thinking this would be really cute in Miami, but definitely with denim shorts. But I think I could get away with this here and I could obviously button up the shirt as well. I'm very excited to wear this and you'll definitely be seeing this if it's not up already on my Instagram as well. So like I said, I'll link everything I'm talking about in the description. I'm wearing this shirt in a size 12 and also the little bralette in a 12 as well. And then these jeans are a size 10. I think I'm gonna mix it up and show you a Coachella option. Here she is. She doesn't want to be part of my haul, but she did just walk out and go, that's cute. It is cute. I've um, turned the light off for a sec because this one is Coachella, so this one's a little bit more um, sheer, but that's the vibe. And obviously it'll be so much different in the desert compared to um, me showing Wait, you guys. is this a Coachella outfit? This is an option. Is it? Yeah. Cute. Okay. This is from Molly's edit. Oh, is it? You're not seeing it? No. You would have seen it. The what? The runway one? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. It actually makes you look very skinny. Ah! But it's really slimming. Thank you so much. <laughs> Here we go. Here is, this is not the bag. I'm just looking for the right sunglasses that I want to wear. Because honestly, I've got so many different sunglasses. They're cute too. I know. I think they're from Molly's edit too. They're cute. I like them. I don't think these, would I wear these with this? So yeah, I've got a lot of sunglasses options and I've got a lot of body chains, which 100% I'm going to be wearing to Coachella, which outfit with, I don't actually know yet, but yeah, the accessories from Pretty Little Thing are where it's at. So there's some options. This is the dress. It's a good time. It's and good. I love this because it's very versatile. You could literally wear denim shorts with this and wear it unbuttoned as well. You know, when you have it open like a cover up the... Yeah, with like this kind of style top or a bikini top. But this is how I personally wear it with some boots, a hat. You know the vibes, like desert kind of... It's giving Kendall Jenner vibes, I think. Like I said, I'd just put loads of jewelry with it, stuck up loads of bracelets. And um, the dress speaks for itself, kind of, but... But final outfit I want to show you for now. You'll obviously see probably... Well, you will definitely see more outfits as we go through the vlog slash the next American vlogs. But I just put this together. I've just... Well, I was actually going to put this on, but I could just hold this up and it speaks for itself. This is really cute. This is a little crochet dress which has these tassels at the bottom this is very boho coachella holiday kind of vibes absolutely love this with a white bikini even like a pop of color actually underneath this is stunning but i thought i could just hold that up because like i said it speaks for itself but i thought i'd put another outfit together to show you how to style it just in case you wanted to this little top is so cute it's like a linen bra with a braid neck quarter neck kind of vibe absolutely love this i put on the trusty denim jacket because it literally goes with everything the good old green bag again kind of just goes with everything to an extent and then i really 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 enjoy these trousers i don't actually know what material they are but they're like a super wide leg cool girl pants it's given summery cool girl vibes i think and then i've got the shades on before that i showed and we're good to go and that's where we're at. So like I said, I'll link the outfits I've just showed you in the description box. And thank you to Pretty Little Thing for sponsoring today. Go check out all their bits. And we're going to get ready for today. But before we do, I'm going to insert the clips from last night because oh, we had a wild first night. We had a wild We had a wild night. first night. And um, we stayed up for over 24 hours. But you guys will see. We had a lot of fun. We made some friends. It was a little bit crazy and um, enjoy and then we'll carry on with today after that. But last night was fun. <laughs> First night out, what a turnaround. We had about an hour and we showered, obviously pulled ourselves together massively. I did not look like this an hour ago. No, so good to shower and just 
regroup. And now we're walking to get some food, but we're heading towards, what's it called, Broadway? Broadway, Broadway which is pretty much, I feel like if anyone's in Nashville, you're probably gonna watch this like, it's the place, but I think it's where everything happens. All the bars, the places where you can go and watch country music artists. And, oh, here we go. Exhibit A, I think it's gonna be quite loud. Wow, it's like a strip, wow. This is Tiffany. Hey! What's up, Tiffany? And we've got Steve. Big old Steve in the back. Steve! We want the damn piano. Hey. We want the piano. What's up, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, they understand us better if we're actually talking like that. I'm not joking. Am I joking? No. We're going to. We're going this way. We went Where for dinner. It? We All literally, right. I think, yeah. did we check in? Yeah, I think we showed the food. And basically, we met see, these lovely couple. They're so they're sweet. Amazing. They're so sweet. Like they bought our they're food. Carolina. They bought our drinks. Yeah, everything. They're, they're from North Carolina. North Carolina. North Carolina. North Carolina. North Carolina. North Carolina. And they say y'all. They say y'all. So so we we have to say y'all. We now say y'all. It's polite for us to say y'all. But basically, man. you guys know how much we love. One Tree Hill. Yeah. And what are the and chances? They had that. Wilmington. One Tree Hill. One Tree Steve, Hill. Steve has seen One Tree Hill. One, One Tree Hill. Hill. I've seen that shit. I've seen that shit. Steve has. <laughs> <laughs> I can't cope. Everyone here is so nice. I mean, I knew. I've been to America multiple right, times. Six and seven. I knew everyone in America was so nice, yeah, but so nice. Like, yeah. why is everyone so willing to be our friend? But anyway, we are currently just walking around. It's we're running on about zero sleep zero at this point. Hours sleep. We've been up for 24 hours. It's a lot. It's anyway, a lot. just like checking up. Probably out now. Look. Okay, turn it oh yeah, it's dark now, obviously. So here we go. If I can film some. Hi. See everyone. Everyone's so friendly. So look, carry up on the wall. We'll see Harry. you next weekend, Harry. Drink. If I seem a tiny bit tipsy, I'm a tiny bit tipsy. Tiny bit. Tiny bit. We've got to find one way to get through the night. Yeah. But anyway, it's what's the time? Like seven. No, it's not. No, nine. it's called what's the time? The light's actually quite nice. Which is 3 a.m. that time. It's 3 a.m. at home. And we've got slept. We got up at 5 a.m. English time. Anyways, we're still going. Ready? No. Ready. No. No. You ready? <laughs> you ready? Yo, Yo, you ready to go um, <laughs> listen to some country music? Hell, Hell yeah. yeah! Hell yeah! It's your country. Yeah, we're going to listen to Country music from North Carolina. North Carolina. How you North Carolina. Yeah. Can you guys do a British accent? Yeah, do you English We accent? need to find a dude with Can you do an English accent? Huh? English accent? Oh, I fucking love a bloody Mary. <laughs> <laughs> We are heading to a shopping centre because we are freezing. <laughs> Since we last spoke, we got ready for the day. Probably show outfits when we get out. And we went to get some lunch. Well, we didn't have breakfast. Molly went and got some coffees. They were extortionate. Extortionate. 
we forgot how expensive America is. Very grateful that you can run around the corner at home and get a coffee for like three pounds. Here, how much was it? 18. <laughs> Pounds, not dollars either. Yeah, that worked out 18 pounds. So, yeah, some, 18 pounds. We, yeah. <laughs> mm. um, no, we're not. We're not. We're, we're not just sitting here moaning. Um, no, we're not. We are shocked by how cold it is, though. But it's supposed to get warmer tomorrow, Sunday. Sunday. What's well, tomorrow's cold too? I think tomorrow's. Uh, cold. Yeah. So we we did need to go shopping anyway. I know it sounds silly. Did we you do. Tell them about your case. Yeah, my case cracked. I don't think I showed it, did I? I'll insert a um, picture. But I think they just, basically we ended up checking in our hand luggage cases. And I think they've just like catapulted mine across maybe the airport, I don't know, across Chicago. The whole case is broke, so I need to get a new case and we wanted to get an extra case anyway because we are slightly over. And also then we can buy things and not be worried that we've got no room. So yeah, we are gonna go shopping. And that's where we're at today. The, I feel like the days here aren't the exciting part. It's going to be the nights. Yeah. But I've tried the new NARS foundation today. And to be fair, I'm getting um, getting the lovely light from the pan roof. But the foundation, people wanted a review. It's their brand new one. I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called Light, Refre Re light Reflecting. But it's really, really nice. I don't know what shade I've used either. That's not helpful at all. But so far, so good. We're seeing, oh, we had a really nice lunch too. We had tacos. Good times. Wow, good times. We really fancied Mexican and it hit the spot. See you in a bit. Hello. 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 Hi. <laughs> How's your day going? Uh, out of 10. I'm stressed because I've not got Coachella out there. But on an upside, this is the best caramel macchiato I've ever had in my life. And you spent about eight hundred dollars. And I spent about eight hundred dollars. No, she has. That's been direct. Do you want a haul? Uh, should I take it home or? No. Really? Can you go for it kind of quick? Yeah, I can rattle through it. Okay. Rapid. Okay. So, I only really went in there for a moisturizer. I have sensitive skin and oily skin, so I got sold this. She recommended this. I've never heard of it. Never heard of it, but apparently, really good. Then I asked for an eye cream. Got, I recommended this one, which we got sold. I. I have been told to introduce vitamin C into my skincare, so we splurged and bought the Sunday Riley vitamin C serum. Sid raved about, about the cream, but the cream's a bit too thick for me, so I bought the serum. I mentioned I love the smell of coconut. So I can't believe she's never tried this. Never tried either. it, never smelled it. Refile lip liner, so I wanted to try that. And finally, a little mini primer. This, really nice. I forgot about this. It's like butter. Does that, does that show? Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah? There we go. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Name a better feeling than shoving them in your ears. <laughs> Come on. Can't you? Yeah. I talked her into that. She took me into that. So she was trying to talk me into Fenty Glow, and I've gone off that colour. We went for Fussy. That's bad. You are so Fussy. Pulls over. Everything. Congratulations. My turn. I got. The shade that Molly got, Fussy, and then I also got Fenty Glow. I personally prefer Fenty Glow. I really had in my head that I wanted to get this Summer Fridays jet lag mask. It's so creamy and thick and buttery, and I was gonna buy the big one, then I saw this, like, the mini one at the till, and I thought, you know what, it makes sense to try it. I also just feel like I just wanna butter up, so I do have this at home, I love it. I got the big one, but I just got the mini one. I got the Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer, and I'm so freaking buzzing to try this because I love Selena Gomez so much, and I've heard such good things about Rare Beauty. I got the eye cream that Mal got because apparently the Inky List is really good. I've heard good things, and also it's very cheap, and also I think eye creams are a bit of a fad, I'm not gonna lie, so. And then, this is weird, you'd hate this, Basically, we established that Molly likes to look quite matte. I like to look quite buttery. But I don't ever look matte, so I'm trying to get there. So I walked past this, and basically this is called the Master Secret Glow. Oh, and I also got, whilst Molly's opening that box, basically, I really like perfumes from Replica. 
always hear people saying how much they love bubble bath and I've never really been obsessed with it when I've sprayed it in the shop but I thought I actually really like perfumes when I've tested them on the skin more so I thought I'd try the tester so oh. it's literally like a jelly butter what do you do with that you can you literally have it as like highlight or like to have that like buttery look you are literally so confused aren't you that's my worst nightmare yeah I look like that anyway I want to look like that that's like what I tried to get rid donut. of. Donut. When you know when Hayley Bieber says she looks like a glazed donut. So there we go. That is my haul. Thank you for coming shopping with us and sorry that that took up probably the majority of the Nashville vlog. Now we're going to go to Cheesecake Factory and eat more tacos. Yeah, there's a Cheesecake Factory there. But we're just waiting until we get a little tiny bit hungrier because if you've oh, wait, wait. not been... To... You say that but you'll have two... We can go in there now if you want. You want to? I'm going to be real with you guys. <laughs> it's currently... Nearly, nearly 10 p.m. and we're in our matching robes <laughs> and we're leaning over the counter in our cheesecake that we took home from the cheesecake factory so oh that, wow i know <laughs> last time we checked in i think it was oh at my God. the shops we came back with every intention literally Every intention to go out, didn't we? Every intention. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, she's getting nearly on the floor. I literally even, I've showered and washed my hair, ready to go out. And we kind of just looked at each other and said, We don't have to tell anyone if we don't. <laughs> yeah, we said, Should we just keep it between us? But then I was like, We don't lie here. Yeah. We're all friends. I can tell you guys. But if anyone asks, we, we went out and had we a wild went, night. We went out every night. Okay. Do you know what we did? Do you know where we went wrong? We parted too hard last night. <laughs> we did. On our first night. Off no sleep. Yeah. So now we've kind of set ourselves back. We are just, we're getting used to the jet lag. Technically. Mm -hmm. A lot of people wouldn't have gone out last night. Mm. We did. So we did our we've night out last night. Too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. And tonight's just start easing our something. Regroup. Mm -hmm. So anyway, good night, guys. How am I looking? Nice and glowy. I've got my uh, summer Fridays jet lag mask on. Anyway, that is it. That is a wrap. This light is coming so handy. I'm so 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 glad I've got this little light. Anyway, night, guys. See you in the morning. Anything from you? No. <laughs> Happy Saturday. Saturday. Funnily enough, we've been up for hours. It's currently 10.13. for four but hours. I think we woke up about half five, didn't we? Anyway, I've been to the gym today. I had my first ever session on Peloton and I am thoroughly enjoyed it. Good. But I wish I didn't because they are very expensive. I am wearing the same blazer and the same jeans I wore yesterday because we don't know how to dress in Nashville. No, we don't. <laughs> I've put a cap on and a different bag to make it look like it's a different day. And this one's whining all about because she doesn't like to dress the way she's dressing. No, it's just I've packed for hot weather and we're a bit thrown off. Yeah, we're dressing like we're literally going to London. And also Molly woke up and had cheesecake, which means... Sid went to the gym and I ate my cheesecake. And I've not had breakfast, so I'm going to have to go find some brekkie. Let's go. So I'm pretty sure this is like the country version of the Hollywood Walk of Fame, but in Nashville. <laughs> Here we go. The girl herself, Miss Dolly Parton. Oh, she's off. All right, Mal, have fun. <laughs> and then we're gonna go into the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum because <laughs> we wanna do, oh, 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 oh. Why are you running across like that? Here we go. Look at that. Wow, Carrie Underwood. Yeah. They've got Forever After All. Oh Our favourite song by Luke Fames. Written when he was writing it, I guess. <gasps> and Better Together. Oh my god. Oh my god. We've only got to come into a bar where he's asked what song we want him to sing. We said Luke Home. How are you thinking of it? We said Luke Home. And now we're just
chase your side and my heart was only The moon went high and the stars went shine Rain on the drive under a line And you wrecked my whole world when you came And hit me like a hurricane We've come out for some, is it lunch or dinner now? It's so late! We've it's come out for late lunch dinner. And look who I'm with, I'm gonna be honest I'll own it one of my favorite YouTubers. She's gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. It's Jessica Stockstick. <laughs> oh my god. I'm literally gonna cry. When you said that, I was like, what? Oh I was like, god. how did you even find me? No, honestly. So, I actually think I found Jess in lockdown because I had nothing to do but watch YouTube. And I found you because you were pregnant. And now she's a beautiful baby girl. So we. I knew you lived in Nashville and I was like, we're going to Nashville and you literally replied like, you're coming to Nash? And I sent like a paragraph. It didn't make bit. sense until I got here, you know? Yes. It's funny because when, when I said, let's go to Nada and you were like, send me the address, that was so funny to me because like, you don't do that. Like, English word, Nada is, is like nothing. nothing. So I was like, she doesn't want to do anything. <laughs> let's go to Nada, let's not do anything. <laughs> you can't even like, see because of the light. Here in America, it's like everything's called such weird things and I was thinking like, I'll just type in whatever. <gasps> do you know what I know they don't do? And you don't know. send kisses, do you? Send kisses? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, like she kisses? Uh, yeah, I do do X at. Oh, okay. Because we have we have a friend in New York, Ariola. I always send her kisses, and she never sends kisses back. And I was. Why do you know you gotta send them back? Yeah, X's are hugs, not kisses. <gasps> no, the O's. No, are hugs. O's. No, the you know XLXL XL gossip girl. Look, look. Hug, you cross your arms around the person when you hug and then kiss each other. Oh, makes so, so much, much sense. sense. Do you like the British accent? I love it. You do? I, I could hear you guys talk all day. I was like making them tell me stories. <laughs> to be fair, we did speak for a really long time. Yeah, we did. Was you bored then? You just like oh, the I voice. <laughs> We're talking about what we ordered in Starbucks, and we need to ask for a grande cold brew with two pumps of white mocha, sweet cream, cold foam. Is that right? Yeah, that's great to sort of. Bro, I'll speak to you guys in a bit. <laughs> We're on night three. We chickened out on night two. <laughs> so technically, this is night two, but oh. it's night three. We had a really good time with Jess and we actually had so much fun. How long were we together? Like four hours? Wow. Honestly, we chatted the back ends off a donkey. We had a great time. Now we've come back, showered, put on new fits and it's a night where I can't really be bothered to do much to my hair. But I actually quite like my makeup other than it looking quite pale. I got this, I think I showed it in the haul, a new like glossy balm thing from Makeup by Mario. So I put it, I don't know if you can see. Under the light on my lids. Really like it. But anyway, we're going out. I'm gonna put on some of Miles' bag. I don't know where mine is. See if she notices. Um, <clears throat> yeah, heading out. We're gonna go to Broadway and we're gonna go find some more country music bars. And we didn't really talk about it earlier, but the guy in the bar we was in who was taking the song requests. Legend, oh, weren't he? What a, guy. what a guy, honestly. Could have sat and listened to him all day. So hopefully we'll find someone as good as that tonight because literally every single bar and restaurant you go in, there's a cool country music singer playing. That's why this is amazing. So we're gonna go out. We wanna drink some 818 tonight because we've not had any yet and we've had really good things. But anyway, I am actually gonna leave my camera here tonight because I'm taking a really small bag. I'm taking the pretty little thing back that I showed earlier in the video. Oh, my phone's hanging out of it. That's my phone charm. And I've got the denim jacket on as well. So I'm gonna leave my camera here. If I get any good footage, I'll take it on my phone. Oh my God, my throat is going. I think I'm getting out. <coughs> oh, girl, brilliant. Anyways, good night. Good night.
morning. It is a very good morning today. We're in it high spirit. Great. Oh morning. my god, honestly, I could prop you up on the wall and dance in the street. That's how happy I am. It's Sunday. Uh, Sunday's my favourite of the week anyway. But as you can see, Blue. look what we're wearing. Guys. Oh my god, it's warm. I can't believe it's warm. It's the weirdest, weirdest, weirdest thing here. How one day it can literally be five degrees the next day i'm not joking it's 25 degrees so anyway yeah last night was so good the club's here how good are the clubs here oh my 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 oh. literally so good and the vibes everyone's just so nice i've said this all along but people in america are so nice should we say we went out last night we felt a strong two out of ten at one point i was actually gonna say can we stay in but i thought well, we can't we stayed no. in last night it's like, ridiculous we felt so gross and just like and one of the best nights out ever. And just, everyone's so nice. Like the amount of people that was like, "I love your outfit. Yeah. Or, you look nice." Or, yeah. And we're back on Broadway, so it's going to be very loud and busy. So I'll catch up in a little while. <laughs> Come on a bus, Welcome up, what's it guys. bus tour, sightseeing. Howdy, howdy, Nashville everybody. Hope you all are doing good. We're being tourists, we're learning a little That's bit. That's right, right. Yeah. Oh, you've done this exact one? <laughs> well, Mum's done it, but. Welcome up, guys. And, um, hello, hello. Yeah. I'm doing good. I don't know if you can even hear me, but. Nice day to be out in Nashville, let me tell you. Yeah, we're going to have a little look around, learn a little bit about Welcome Nashville up, guys. for our last day and enjoy the sunshine. Yeah. Yeah. This mess is getting sorted out today. We've got to eat that. I'm hungry now. 10 minutes ago, you were like, I'm not even hungry. <laughs> We've just put dinner. Yeah. Pretty much, if you never know what to go Pretty and much, eat. I let know. <laughs> Pretty much, I just want to let Gemma know. If you want to go, if you, oh. if you know what cuisine you want. If you know what cuisine you want, just go on Google and type in the area, the cuisine <laughs> and best. What? Everyone does that. <laughs> I don't think everyone knows that. Google best Italian in Nashville. Yeah. Of course they do. I don't Ooh. think everyone knows that. What's I don't a Google <coughs> best quiz, best Italian. Why would people know that? Why would you? That would be because, everyone's first point of. Point but how come we've not done that? This is falling over the place. <clears throat> we've just been like walking around looking for places. Yeah. So they, they haven't. We've got to go. <sighs> Anyways, it's the final day. We've had a really nice day. The weather's been top notch. We're gonna come back tonight after food. So we've booked food fairly early. It's like six o'clock now. We're going to our reservation at quarter past six. We're repacking basically. And then tomorrow morning we're going to Miami, which I'm so excited for. So excited for. But we'll recap at the end of this video tonight. We'll lay in bed and we'll discuss the highs and lows, the peaks and pits. Peaks. But we'll take you to dinner first of all because I'm really excited to have some Italian because I feel like all we've eaten is Mexicano. <laughs> we've come to a typical family restaurant. It's so cute and everyone's so nice. And everyone's so confused why there's two random British girls. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> We're on the sangria. We're getting vodka pasta. You've had a vodka pasta before, right? So good. This smells lovely. And bruschetta, and we've already decided that we're getting cake for dessert because we just saw someone get their birthday cake, and you can get portions of it for dessert. So we're getting that. And um, I'll give you a little, a little, a little pan of where we are. Come on, we've got a little bread. A lot of bread. We've already oh, done we, a bowl of that. Yeah, and we. Oh, that looks like a good bit though. So yeah, and you're cold, aren't you? Freezing. The knob. The knob. Good morning. It's 3 a.m. On a Monday. We're very tired. We've had like four or five hours sleep. But we're off to Miami. We're off to Miami right now. We should be there in about four hours max, I reckon. And then they jump forward an hour. So we're losing a tiny bit of the day. But honestly, can't complain. We're just going to go and lay in the sun today. We have been to Miami before, so we have explored a little bit. We do want to explore, but you have to wait for that vlog anyway. But it's time to wrap 
the Nashville vlog. I'm gonna be really honest, we're in Miami now, but you'll have to wait till the Miami vlog, we're not gonna tell you anything about it. But we did just want to give a peek, peek and, and a pit of Nashville and just kind of summarize because I feel like we didn't. But we want to keep this nice and short and sweet. Rain Nashville out of 10. Um, 8.5. You? Oh. I think the only thing that it, that it lacked was the weather. So I'd say go height of summer. That was my peak was the temperature, but that can't be helped. I actually agree. I wish we prepared more. Had we looked at the weather and prepared, we would okay. have loved it. That would have been a 10. Yeah. But I actually enjoyed it more than I thought I would. Not that I thought it was going <clears> to <throat> be... I don't know what I expected. I feel like maybe I didn't have any expectations. Yeah, I think I'd give it... I think a 9 out of 10. A 9? Yeah. And <clears> my, my, one, my one whole point, which would have made it a 10 is the weather but again mm. it's just like it falls back on us because we should have just checked the weather yeah we assumed never assumed peak and pit pit done peak what was your best bit my best bit i really enjoyed the night out in miranda lambert <gasps> love that best bit for me whoa i'm taking it <laughs> i'm stealing it from you um, that was the best bit i really did enjoy our first day with tiffany and steve I loved me and Tiffany and Steve. <laughs> I need to. And also, oh, I just Tiffany really enjoyed the guy in the bar that sang Luke Combs and Brett Young. And to me and Jess. Jess! Oh my God, we had so many peaks. I absolutely loved Nashville. Final answer. 10 out of 10. Changed it. <laughs> so yeah, if you are considering going and you're thinking, oh, I don't know what to expect, just do it. I, I, but I would say three, four days is long enough. So it might be worth maybe like doing a two location kind of thing if you can. Yeah. I think it's lack of things to do in the day. Nightlife's yeah. so good. Nightlife's like, if you That's love what I mean. music, That's... it's just the days. To fill your days is hard, I think. Yeah. Anyways, that is a wrap. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to this video, thumbs up. And the next video will be Miami, baby. We have Justin Bieber tomorrow. <laughs> no more spills. No more spills.